for question 1, marginal benefit illustrate the additional satisfaction or utility gained from consuming one more unit of a good or service. Picture this, you're studying for an exam. The first hour of focused studying might bring immense progress and understanding. But as you continue, the extra comprehension from each additional hour diminishes. This diminishing gain in an understanding represents the concept of diminishing marginal benefits. Conversely, marginal cost denotes the extra cost incurred from producing or consuming one more unit of a good or service. Imagine you're contemplating buying another hour of tu tutoring. The marginal cost will include the additional expense of that hour, such as the tu tutoring fee and any negative consequences like feeling mentally exhausted. Lastly, opportunity cost refers to what you give up when selecting one option for another. For instance, if you choose to spend your evening studying instead of going to a movie, the opportunity cost would be the enjoyment you would have derived from watching the movie. Understanding opportunity cost is pivotal as it revel reveals the true cost of our decision by considering what we're foregoing. In summary, marginal benefit quantifies the extra satisfaction Marginal cost measure the extra cost, and opportunity cost evaluates what you're sacrificing by choosing option over another. For question 2, when considering a policy intervention such as implementing universal basic income or UBI in a country, it's crucial to apply the scientific, scientific method to thoroughly assess its validity. Firstly, we observe the current socio-economic situation in the country and its existing welfare system. Next, we formulate a hypothesis about how implement, implementing UBI might impact poverty rate and the economic stability. This hypothesis could be based on existing research or economic theories regarding the effects of direct cash transfer. Following that, we design an experiment or study to test our hypothesis. This might involve implementing UBI in a pilot region while keeping other regions as control groups. We then measure various outcomes including poverty rate, employment level, and overall economic well-being. For the third one, after gathering and analyzing data, we draw in conclusion regarding the effectiveness of UBI as a policy intervention. If the pilot region saw significant improvement in poverty reduction and economic stability compared to the control groups, it provides evidence to support our hypothesis. However, if there are no significant differences or adverse outcome, it suggests that UBI may not be the optimal solution for addressing poverty and economic inequality. In essence, the scientific scientific method offers a systemic, systematic approach to evaluate the impact of policy intervention and make well-informed decision based on empirical evidence. For question 3, in economics, changes in price can have significant effect on the demand for goods and services. Consider a scenario where the price of smartphone increases Generally, when the price of a product rises, consumers tend to buy less of it. Assuming other factors remain constant, this is because the product became relatively more expensive compared to alternatives, leading to a decrease in demand for smartphone. Now, if the prices of tablet increases, meaning alternative products become more expensive, consumer may opt for a smartphone instead. For example, if the price of tablet rises, people might choose to purchase smartphone instead, thereby increasing the demand for smartphone. Conversely, if the price of phone cases increase, a complement to smartphone it could lead to a decline in demand for smartphone. For instance, if the price of phone case rises, fewer individuals might buy smartphones resulting in a decrease in the demand for smartphones. In both cases, these changes will prompt shifts in the demand curve when price of substitute rise. 
The demand curve for the original product shift to the right, indicating an increase in demand. Conversely, when price of complement rises, the demand curve shifts to the left, signaling a decrease in demand.